Hi! In the next five minutes I'm going to show you what miniboxing is all about. As you might have read on the website, miniboxing improves the performance of generics running on the Java Virtual Machine platform. To start, on the left hand side we have a quick sort method which takes an array and sorts it in place based on a given ordering. This is followed by the time method which measures how long it takes to run an operation and outputs this to the screen. Finally, our entry point in this example creates an array and measures how long it takes to sort it. We can run this example in the Scala interpreter. As you might expect, it takes quite a while to sort a 5 million element array. And as you can see, the computation took 7 seconds. The quick sort uh, algorithm is written here in a generic form, based on elements of type D. This could be improved by the miniboxing transformation. Here I have the MB Scala script, which aside from running the Scala interpreter, it also attaches miniboxing to the compilation pipeline. So let us first run it with the miniboxing transformation attached to the compi Scala compiler. And the first thing you will notice is that it shows us what to do to improve our code. Miniboxing, aside from improving the performance, also acts as a performance expert telling us what to do to improve our code. In this case, what it says is the method quick sort could ben would benefit from miniboxing type parameter D since it is instantiated by a primitive type. And it points us to the last row in our example where indeed we sort with using the quick sort method and we sort an array of integers. As you can see, it took seven seconds before and it took seven seconds with the miniboxing plugin. So things are not automatic, but based on the warnings, you will be able to modify your code to improve performance. In order to minibox type parameter T, we need to add the mini boxed annotation in front of it. This is all we need to do. We can run the example again, and you can see a different, uh, a different warning is shown telling us what is the next thing we need to do to improve our code. In this case, what it says is use MB array instead of array to eliminate the need for class tags and benefit from seamless interop with the miniboxing specialization. So all we need to do is switch from array to MB array in the signature of quick sort. And we also need to transform our array into an MB array using the clone method. Okay, one thing you might find puzzling is the fact that it actually takes longer to run the miniboxing, the, the code, once the minibox annotation has been added, but when we still get warnings. What happens is that the miniboxing transformation becomes visible only once we have optimize all our code. So as long as we get warnings, we will not have the maximum performance. Now running it, running our example once more gives us yet another warning which says upgrade from trait ordering to class miniboxed ordering to benefit from miniboxing specialization. Ordering tells us exactly how to compare two different elements in our array. And in order to switch to minibox, miniboxed ordering, we only need to modify the signature and here modify the import in order to get the implicits from the miniboxing transformation. Running once again, now we don't get any warnings, meaning our code is probably efficient at this point. And indeed, we sort the array 
in 2.7 seconds, almost three times faster than in our original example. This is what the mini box sync transformation can do to your generics if you add the mini boxing plugin to your compilation pipeline. On the website, you will find information about how to add the mini boxing transformation to your SBT project or how to run it as I've done here in the command line. Thank you for your attention and I hope you'll enjoy using the mini boxing transformation.